Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Taurus for the second half of June. We're going to go ahead and pull cards from different decks and get different messages. Taurus, keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. Stick around, let's find out what's going on. Taurus, if you do enjoy these readings, please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It does have, help the channel grow and uh, it helps to spread the message. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. Second half of June, what's going on? Mm -mm. Guilt is coming through, Taurus. Oh, I'm getting very strong energy of either overeating or indulging in sweets. <laughs> This is for some of you, it's not for everybody, but it did come through very strongly, so just be careful of that. Denial, service. Look at the color scheme of your cards. It's interesting because these cards are not all the same background color. Hmm. Friendship. Okay. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards. We're going to go into this guild card first and uh, dive in deeper. What is that deal here for, for Taurus? Queen of Inspiration. Seven of Materials. Strengths. Five of Voices, I was just about to say. I feel like you focused um, a lot on something that um, is close to your heart. I feel like a lot of you are focused a lot on your career and um, you kind of either disconnected from your friends or you've just spent a lot of time on your own, uh, working diligently, being very focused on growing your financial situation and moving up in your career. I feel very strong energy of building up your career. And I feel like um, there's people around you that uh, this could be your friends, this could be your family members, this could be kind of like your soul tribe here that uh, you haven't spent a lot of time with re recently. And I feel like that's what you feel guilty about. Uh, for a lot of of you, you just feel guilty that you kind of disconnected so much from the people that you actually enjoy spending time with, that uh, you do have common interests, and normally you, um, you know, you 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 get along really well. You vibe off their energy; they vibe off your energy. I'm getting a very um, tight group of people, but yet you've disconnected just because you focus on your career so much. What I feel here is that there is an olive branch. You will reconnect with these people. There will be peace here. I feel like they're very much supportive of you, but they do miss you. I'm getting the energy of missing the conversations with you, missing spending time with you, but there is no need to feel guilty. Release any beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's journey growth. I feel like you do have to release um, the energy of this guilt because what you're doing for your career you will be very successful in and this is something that is going to last you're looking for the lasting results you're looking for um a, like secure and established future and that's what exactly you're working on and you put your head down and you focused you're working on it but release the guilt i feel like the people that are um, meant to be in your life they will stay in your life and there will be absolutely this olive branch here there will be peace you will reconnect with them when you need to when, when you should that's what I'm getting here interesting message denial what is that here for Taurus denial hangman need a change of perspective that's what it is it's like you're stuck in one way mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> interesting I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Uh, I feel like changing your perspective, that awareness, that insightful awareness, that almost spiritual guidance is extremely important for you here, Taurus. I'm getting this energy that you're very independent. Again, I, I'm getting a lot of energy of career success here. And it feels like everything is falling into your into the, in, into its place when it comes to your career. But what's lacking here is uh, either a romantic connection here. Some of you have been single for quite a while. Or just that partnership, that um, love 
partnership is what you're looking for. Fourth inspiration is a card of potential marriage. It's a card of finding your soul tribe, but also a card of 11-11, a divine union here. And I feel like some of you are fearful that you're not going to find it, that the love is not going to be here for you in this lifetime. Yes, you will. There is an offer coming in for you. Just don't focus so much on what didn't work out because I feel like a lot of you, you've been focusing and thinking about the relationship that didn't work out for you that you don't see a new one coming in. Change the perspective. Open up your eyes. Look at the situation from a different angle and know that the relationship that didn't work out for you were not supposed to be for you. They were not meant to be for you. Look at this huge cup of love that is coming your way and look how much bigger this cup is than what it was that you had here in the past. There is a committed relationship for you in the future. For those of you who are um, worried about that, there is a committed relationship for you in the future. Pisces could be somehow significant for you in this message. Let's go ahead and clarify the service card. What is that here about? Ace of Emotions. Nice, an emperor. Muse of Inspiration. Star. Wow, and seven of inspiration. I'm getting a strong energy of you either um, dedicating your time for charity or dedicating your time to a uh, volunteer. And I feel like that's where you're going to meet a new love. For those of you who are looking for a new romantic relationship, I'm getting the energy of helping people. Um, soup kitchen is coming through, but that's just an example. I'm getting an energy of volunteering your time, uh, volunteering um, your um volunteering somewhere possibly something connected to children doesn't have to be but just being of service to others and i feel like um, um during that time um you are meeting somebody a new romantic connection you're meeting somebody who you're romantically interested in i feel like this person is a um a person of in some way a person of power that could definitely be somebody who's very successful in their own career i feel like they stand out with a lot of confidence i feel like this person is somebody who might be even coordinating this whole charity event or this whole volunteering service event here i feel like this person gives a lot of themselves too but i also feel like they have a lot to give this person is very successful they and it seems to me like they've built up their own career they made their own path there could be a very unconventional business that they own here i'm getting that energy and i feel like i said they made themselves um successful so uh, what i'm saying is, is they, they're not coming like from family money i'm getting their build up their own success here could be an Aries, could be an Aquarius, significant here, doesn't have to be. But what I feel is that this emotional connection, this new love coming into you is healing your heart. It gives you hope. The star is a hope here. And I feel like uh, you are coming out of this energy of uh, feeling, uh, you know, sad. Um, that sadness here is opening up for you. You are coming to this colorful um, future here, this uh, beautiful, exciting and loving connection. And I I do get a lot of healing and hope that this is going to last very interesting energy i feel like you're overcoming uh, some difficult times that you had in your romantic love life and it is a new connection that is coming your way hmm. okay taurus let's go ahead and find out what is this friendship all about ten of voices Ooh, ten of materials Ace of Voices. Wow, Ten of Inspiration. That's three tens there. And Eight of Emotions. Wow. Three tens. Completion, completion, completion. Ending, ending, ending. Ace of Ace is a beginning and eight of emotions is a walking away i'm getting that some of you are definitely um ending some uh, friendships that no longer serve your past that are not supposed to be um any longer in your past i feel like this friendship is almost kind of served its purpose and it's time for you to move on um ten of voices uh, ten of materials ten of inspirations you're leaving something behind i feel like there could have been something that happened here that almost kind of requires an apology and i do feel that apology will be sad uh, sent here but what I'm getting is that it's wise for you to move forward it's wise for you to leave this behind and move on 
Eight of emotions is exactly what it is. It's leaving something that not emotionally satisfying you here behind, something that is emotionally hurt you behind and moving away. You're moving away from some sort of friendship, from somebody who has been in your life for a while. Um, maybe it could, it could, for some of you, this is not a long friendship here, but it was something significant for you. You're ending this friendship. You're ending this relationship. For some of you, it's a community of people that you decided to leave because you grow over it. You, you're breaking free from this. It's a community of people, maybe people that, you know, that they have similar interests, people who have similar ideas here. But at some point, this community became burdensome to you and you decided to leave it. You, you kind of grew over it. You grew, you grew out of this community here. You grew out of this friendship here and you're going for something that is much more emotionally fulfilling. Definitely breaking some ties here. You're breaking free. You're breaking through. You're breaking some ties here. That's what I'm getting, Taurus. Very strong message there. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We are going to pull some keeper cards for you and see what else comes through, what else we need to know for Taurus for the second half of June. Thoughts, imprisonment. Wow, some of you feel very stuck right now. And male, high <laughs> owner. Wow, Ooh, look at this. Okay, some of you, um, you are in a, a relationship with somebody who is way too controlling. The emperor in reverse with the man male here could definitely be male energy. It doesn't have to be actual man. It could be just somebody who's very much in a masculine energy and they are extremely over, uh, over controlling. This person could be having some sort of a high position within the society. They could be having a position that um, they are quite visible. They are um, in a public eye, that's what I'm trying to say. And I feel like this person is keeping you stuck. Page of Pentacles in reverse, um, Emperor in reverse, man male. What I'm getting here is the energy of they feeling they over controlling person, somebody who's extremely controlling, somebody who's quite self centered, somebody who loves the attention on them, somebody who's getting a lot of attention too. But what I'm getting here is there is, could be also some financial codependency happening here. With the hangman in reverse, you're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself of this connection. A lot of you are deciding to divorce. A lot of you are thinking about how you can leave this connection. A lot of you are considering now to. Um, to get a divorce, to disconnect, to leave this partnership here. Hangman in reverse, you're no longer stuck. This imprisonment card, this energy of feeling stuck, you, you, you want to get out of it. You want to get out of this connection here. I'm getting that very strongly for you, Taurus. And I do feel that it's almost like, it's, like something is nodding on you. Like these thoughts are just... It's been on your mind for quite a while, but I'm getting now that there could be somebody, like either a new friend or a new person in your environment or somebody that is kind of coming in and um, giving you a little bit of help. This could be an advice. This could be giving you a way how to, um, you know, how to get out of the situation here, how to do it quietly, because I feel like you don't want to make a big splash. You don't want to have a um, like an open conflict here. But I do see you freeing yourself. You're getting out of the situation. You're getting out of the situation of feeling stuck, but be, being controlled by somebody. For some of you, being manipulated by somebody. I feel like for the, um, some of you Tauruses here, this person could have kept you stuck because of financial situation. You know, they could have manipulated you through money somehow. Hmm. This is what I'm getting. These are the messages that are coming through. Very interesting here, Taurus. It is for somebody. It is a specific message, but it is for someone here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some tarot for you and just get some uh, message. Whatever we haven't covered so far, if there's anything else Taurus needs to know, some sort of confirmation or a different message here. What else do we need to know for Taurus for the second half of June? Let's find out. Second half of June, Taurus. Wow, Empress is coming through. Taurus, this is your energy. Empress to me is a Taurus energy. Look at that. Ace of uh, Pentacles. This is you taking over control. This is you taking uh, your power back in some way. This is also a glow up for a lot of you. This is uh, a glow up and um, 
um, collect and harvest here. For some of you, this is new financial opportunities. Definitely collect and harvest. Something you've been working on really hard is growing here financially. This is what I'm getting here. Look at this, ending and wheel of fortune. And ending the start of a new cycle. Look how many major arcanas you got. This is quite incredible. This is a very significant message for some of you Taurus this year. What I'm getting is, You've been working on something that was burdensome and um, the challenges in your financial situation here are now ending you have a death here and a wheel of fortune the luck is on your side there is uh, luck is turning in your favor wheel of fortune is turning in your favor your perseverance is paying off your hard work is paying off and you do have a financial glow up that's what i'm getting here very strongly it is a financial glow up it's having be, becoming a person in charge this is having that project of yours that money that you nourished glow up here grow and absolutely collect and harvest but also putting an end of a challenging time in your financial situation here there is new money growing here there is new money the, the luck is on your side the luck is turning in your side eight three could be a very significant number for you 13 88 and your hard work is paying off taurus this is what i see for you these are the messages that came through today i truly hope this reading was helpful thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed this reading please do press that like button subscribe to the channel and i hope to talk to you soon bye for now